man who is the world's most embattled mayor right now, Rob Ford of Toronto. He's admitted to smoking crack, buying drugs, falling down drunk in office. The acting out was caught on tape, but the mayor vowed to keep his job at a stormy city council meeting yesterday. Ben Mulroney, anchor of CTV's eTalk, is following it all, and he joins us. Good morning, Ben. Good morning to you, George. Well, city council meetings rarely make national, let alone international, headlines. Well, yesterday, all eyes were on Toronto City Hall and the world's most talked about Mayor Rob Ford, and the spectacle did not disappoint. Mr. Mayor, have you purchased illegal drugs in the last two years? Yes, I have. If you thought that was the most awkward moment of Mayor Rob Ford's appearance before City Council, you'd be wrong. Are you then saying then that you have violated the Council Code of Conduct? In what respect? I'm asking you a question, sir. I, well, in what respect? I'm asking you a question. From denying reports, he visited a crack house. Hear my answer. Actually, you're not being truthful. That's I'm my not being truthful. Have you been you into that house? I have no interest in being in that house. I'm not a crack user. So, you know. <laughs> to spurning his colleagues' insistence that he step down and seek help. Have I done drugs? Yes, I have. But Mr. it's self-inflicted. Will you get help? I'm not an addict of any sort. So I'm not quite sure why you're saying I need help. Ford was in full-on fighting form, repeatedly apologizing. I made a mistake. I am human. But not backing down. Absolutely not taking a leave of absence. And while it may seem the world is against him, his brother, Councillor Doug Ford, leapt to his defense. None of you have ever done anything wrong, have you? Ever. Never. Never. The question is, have you ever smoked marijuana? Have you ever smoked marijuana? Everyone should be careful about throwing rocks in the house. You can't answer the question. That's why you can't answer I'm moving on. You guys can do what you want. I apologize again. I'm sorry. That's all I have to say. Wow. Not only is the mayor moving on, he told that council meeting, which has to be about the most gripping city council meeting I've ever seen, <laughs> that he's going to run and win re-election next year. Now, I know his approval ratings jumped up after the story first broke. What's going on with that now? Well, George, uh, his core group of supporters known as Ford Nation might not be what it used to be. Um, in a recent poll, 76 percent of Torontonians said that they want the mayor to either take a leave of absence and seek treatment or resign entirely. And in a new poll released this morning, uh, he placed third in a list of potential mayoral candidates for an election that will take place October 27th of next year with about 20 percent of the vote. Okay, Ben, thanks very much for bringing us that.